like, okay, I'm going to do it. Like, Hi, guys. I'm Ree. I'm Mark. And this is the Need to Know. So, guys, today is a wonderful episode, a regular episode, because clearly nobody likes the D. Every time we try to put it in the poll, they're just like, it's a dub. So, this week's poll was either dating in and out your age, yeah, and then name day. So, you know, let's first go with our questions that we posted. These are not our heated topic. Our heated topic will come a little later on, just so you know. So, the picture was, fuck having sex, can I lay with you and tell you, and tell you why I'm the way I am. So, my question was, what is the mood y'all be on? So, obviously, you know, it's either y'all trying to fuck, Oh, you want to vibe, you know? So all the people, you know, we had to go to the questions. All the people who said they just want to fuck was three guys. And who said they want to vibe was actually three guys and five girls. That was the first time they voted. The second time was one person said they want to fuck. No, yeah, one guy, but it's only one person after. Then four people said they want to vibe. Okay, so now the last, the recent time was, I don't know who said they wanted to fuck the last time, but who said they wanted to vibe was seven people, two was guys, and the rest was girls. I feel like only girls want to vibe. Pretty much. Yeah. Why? I think mainly because, you know, guys, we, we're not the emotional type. Not saying females are like emotional, but that's a bad thing, but like guys are, are like our main, like our main focus is to smash. Honey. <laughs> and with girls, it's like, yo, you know, they want like a connection, they want a vibe, they want communication, like they want a lot of other things that guys are just not focusing on. So when you have a question like that, it's like, I mean, I knew girls was gonna focus more on vibe and guys was gonna smash, but I think that's the reason why so many guys just wanna smash. Not me. That's, that's not me. I mean, that goes back to okay. So I was having a conversation, right? my friend and I was like he was like sex is just sex I was like I agree but to a certain extent because there's gonna be a person that you're gonna be like oh sex is not just sex you're trying to you're trying to be with them or you know you're trying to have something a little bit more right I was like nah I was like you a good guy right I was like oh you a good guy I'm like don't try to be a fuck boy because that's not the type of that's not the type of person you are he's like oh how you know I'm like what he's like oh you could you know no you know so I'm like all right, but I'm pretty. I was like, okay, so you was fucking somebody and you just was like, oh, you gotta get out. So he was like, yeah, I did that before. I was like, word. So I was like, okay, so I was like, okay, so say it's me, right? We just friends, but he was like, I was like, say it's me. He's like, oh, you would, out, you would do that to me. He was like, if it was for that, I was like, wow. So I'm like, so you trying to be that type of person? He's like, nah, but I would never do that to you though. So I'm just like, all right. But that means sex is not just sex thing. So you cannot tell me sex is just sex with a certain person. If you're gonna live by that rule, that means every person that you get with, sex is just sex. You can't just limit it to no, because if that means that one person or that two people or that odd, odd people is gonna be like, oh, you know, I'm fucking with that person, blah, blah, blah. No, if sex is just sex, that means every person that you get with, it, sex needs to be sex. It has to be like, this is what I want from me, that's it, goodbye, see you later. But I do agree to a point that sex is just sex. At the end of the day, like, I'm sorry guys, I'm dead a, I'm dead a nigga when it comes to certain shit. So, <laughs> what I'm about to say, please, bro, okay. Sex is for you to get off that nut, right? So, <laughs> yo, I used to wear, I gotta stop, I gotta stop hanging out with <laughs> you. Sex is for you to just get off that nut. So at the end of the day, you know, you're not gonna think too much about nothing else after that. You just need to be like, all right, that's a dub. Cause that's what you care about. So sex, you know, right. So, but when you with somebody, that's not the point. The point is for y'all to both feel some type of pleasure in it, not just you. I was just thinking about that too. Okay, next question guys. So do you date someone in your age group or older? Let's answer that. Me, first of all, I always date people that what, is older than me. Yo, all the time, I don't know where they be coming from. Like, they just be like, oh, you look good, blah, blah. I'm like, and then how old are you? Why are you that old, though? I never really gave, gave this much thought, but um, I don't know. Like, I date in my age group for some odd reason, but like, this generation with 
the girls now, like, they just, I don't know. Yeah, like, maturity, maturity is a big thing for me. Like, like in certain situations, like, say we're arguing or, like, we got to do certain things and they got to do certain manners. I can't date somebody that's not on my level. Like, if, if my mind is, like, further than you, not saying, like, of course, you're going to date people that's, like, you know, either you're smarter or they're smarter, but I mean, like, in terms of maturity like yeah like i can't date a girl that's too immature like like it's fun sometimes but most times it's like bro oh, you're dead in like like, <laughs> like grow up like bro so that's part of what i'm seeing now that's what I'm but yeah I, I, I like girls that's older because their mind is so different okay so with the age group that voted for age group it was four guys and one two three four girls I'm sorry, I'm really counting this because I like to, you know, this season we're gonna really get in depth of like who's voting for what because this is really like, let me switch around this one. Um, for older, it was one, two, three, four girls and one, two, three, four, five, six guys. My thing about guys getting older girls, I don't know what it's for. Like, is it just because you guys wanna have sex with an older person or it's like you really wanna vibe with her? Because older women be on a different type of literally like their mind especially if they have children they be on a different type of time well not for me like i'm like when i say older women i don't mean like if i'm 20 she's like 35 like that's that's all right that's not different like older yeah women. like that's like whoa that's a whole different <laughs> nah but even if like you're okay say you're 25 and like the girl is like maybe 30 35 like 30 something like late 30s like i don't see nothing wrong with that but it's like y'all have two different y'all like like y'all are in two different points of y'all lives like, she might still be, oh, I wanna party, wanna go out, but she still, like, do what she do, like, you know? Yeah. Or she could be like, oh, we on this type of timing. I, like, it's so many, like, women, older women, are different from older men. When it comes to dating younger people, I feel like that's a question I should ask. So, okay, I, I was talking to an older guy, but before he was talking to me, he was talking to an older woman, right? right. They had maybe, like, seven years on each other like she was like seven years older but like she no funny she was on some wild childish shit like but at the end of the day she was mad mature about what she was trying to do when it came to getting money she always like was on it when it came to her children she was always on it when it came to like responsibility she was on it but then when it came to like being in a relationship i think her mind was like a lot childish like she tend to like go towards property i should say like this is my like this is like territorial maybe i should oh. say you know this is mine blah 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 like but that was my story because i don't i can't remember the other side because i can't i can't tell you the other side if i don't remember the story so i don't know for me i think like their mentality compared to a younger person dating an older person like flip it basically right well me personally from what i've seen i think i think older women are a little more mature than older guys like i think a lot of older guys um either one they just want to bang or two they want a different i guess experience with older women i think it's more about like i feel like they be on i want to vibe like, yeah like i want to yeah i think yeah. also be on i'm gonna fuck so yeah i think it's, it's, it's it could be normal. either or with guys no it could be the same with guys too because I feel like the majority is all oh, gonna fuck. Sometimes I really think like if they really vibing with you, like they trying to vibe with you. Like. Not okay. Boom. Example. All right, I got you. This is about me though. So this one person I met, he got like seven years on me, right? So when I talk, you know, I'm young, so I talk like how I talk. Like I talk in this generation. So I be saying certain things, and he don't know what I'm talking about. Like he will be like, "What are you talking about?" And I'm just like, "What?" But then if I talk to my other friend that I know and he's older, but he got maybe like five years on me, he know what I'm talking about. So I'm just like, but the thing is like, the person that's closer to my age, he's on grown man timing. Like, so does the other nigga, but it's like, he's on a young grown man timing. And the other one is on some grown, grown man timing. Does that make sense? All right guys, so we're gonna get into our hit topic. All right, so first of all, I cannot say too much about it, but I can tell you my facts because I dead read mad articles about this. So I can tell you some facts. But a lot of people did, you know, one person in particular did like respond to it and we was like going back and forth with it. So basically, we're gonna have it on the screen for you guys. So 
<laughs> he's a football player, right? Okay. So basically, he said this is their campaign, the Nike campaign. Yeah. Okay. So you know how Nike has their campaign or whatever, and basically his was believe in something even if it means sacrificing everything. Me personally, I agree with that statement. Like the statement, not like the what's going on, but right now we're talking about the statement. I agree with the statement because you know you having a job, right? And you feel uncomfortable there because things is like, you know, wilding out or like, you know, you and this person not getting along. Like, you don't feel comfortable enough. So, yeah, you're going to stand up and be like, oh, say what you got to say, right? So, once you become uncomfortable to the point where you can't take it no more, you quit, right? So, you know, you have to, that's the same thing with this. You believe in, you know, this is not the place I need to be. So, you take the steps to be like, okay, now it's time for me to go. Or, because like, you know, at first you're going to try to, you know, fix the problem. And at first, and then at first it might not fix, and then sometimes it might lead towards fixing. It's, and then you have all these obstacles, and eventually you just like it's not working, and boom. Basically, like there's people out there that feel you know America is like the greatest, and everything they do is right, and there should be nothing that changed about it. Or people who live here, or people who like use up the space, should basically respect everything that. America is about. There's been recent controversy with like Colin Kaepernick because of what he did, I think like two years ago. Um, basically, the national anthem, which is what America um, sings, basically the flag and like all the everything in the history of America, that's basically what the national anthem is about. So basically, Colin Kaepernick, like he was going against everything that, not everything America is about, but the police brutality and the injustices happening. So as they were singing the national anthem, which is what America is about, he kneeled in the stood up, which is what you're supposed to do. So he did that as a way of protesting that America is not all that great, like there's still some bad stuff between it. All the people who were against that um, started bashing his name, he got kicked out of the NFL. When I kicked out, like nobody signed him. So now Nike recently, basically, Nike recently took him in and did that um, campaign with him with that statement. And you know, of course people are still bashing him for what he did two years ago. But there are certain people out there that's like for it. So I guess our question came as to what you guys prefer, like for what Kaepernick and what other people are doing, or are you against what he did and you should respect America? So, so everybody who voted voted that they support, you know, his decision and that they agree with what he's doing. And I can say, you know, that what he's doing is right. Because at the end of the day, we have the right to protest what we believe in, regardless of what anybody says. Because he's not the only one that thinks that. He's not the only one that believes in that. And because, you know, people, and people are bashing. Nike over the years have been doing these types of campaigns for a long time. So it's not like this is the first time Nike is, you know, supporting what people are doing. So now that, you know, it's this specific person, now everybody's going against, you know, Nike as well. But if you listen to me before, why are you doing it now? So it's a New York Times article. Sorry guys, I'm mad cold. It's a New York Times article. So basically the article is like talking about, you know, how the NFL took him out, you know, he's with Nike and they're doing a campaign. And basically they're trying to, they're going behind the scenes now and going to the reason why they're not trying to accept him again. And it's like, and it's all because, guess what, all these people who own the teams and like are the coaches and all that stuff are white men that support, you know, the beliefs of America's great and so forth. And of course, you know, the president, the president, is basically, he's the one who like supports or like gives the good thing. Something about support and we support Trump and blah 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 blah. Right, so it's like they're going hand in hand because he has a say over whatever is going on, you know. It's more like they have to do it. So, you know, all these white coaches now aren't really, they don't, they're like, oh, you have to do these things. So in the contracts that they're that they're writing now for all like all new contracts that they're making, they're basically saying that they have to stand all the players have to stand up for the national anthem regardless of anything. Like regardless of it. And then on top of that, some of them are saying that they can stay in the locker room and others are saying they can't. They have to come out and they have to stand up and they have to, you know, participate. Which 
I think is against anybody's rights because if you don't, you don't have to do it. That's the same type of thing. If I don't have to stand, I don't have to stand up. If I want to go in the locker room, I want to stay in the locker room and come out later. I can go, you know. But it's like now you're forcing somebody to do something against their will, and I feel like you know that's not really. Why would you want to be a part of any team that's doing that? Okay, so basically, this person was like, I don't even know why the people are mad because he was like, it's only the white people. That's against it. To a certain extent, yeah, but I'm pretty sure there's some, like, there, there are black people, some of them, I don't, I don't know, who, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure there are some black people that are against what Kaepernick is doing as well. They just don't, they're not mentioned enough because, you know, as you guys know in America's history, it's, all, it's always about, you know, white people oppressing blacks and Latinos, so I feel like the black people that are against Kaepernick, like, they're not going to shine or people are not going to make light of it because it's like... The majority of black people are for Kaepernick, whereas the majority of the white people, I don't, I don't want to say the majority of the white people, because there are white people that are supporting Cap as well, but from what it looks like, it's like, there's a lot of white people that just don't, they don't like him because of what he did. So then he brought up the fact that, you know, people hate Nike for it, and he's like, why is that? Because, you know, Nike been doing, been, has, has been already doing things like this already. Pretty much, I think this is going to be an ongoing situation that... Could be resolved easily, but it's not going to because you know it, it digs deeper than just you know kneeling on the ground for a natural anthem. And I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of athletes out there that like they want to speak out. Remember? I don't remember words still, okay. but you know their speech. Like okay, so basically Nike's been supporting all of the athletes who have been you know seeing what's going on in these teams and in these you know the NFL, the NBA, like all these like what is the word? Oh my gosh, like it's a right thing and I just can't figure out for it. Okay. All of the sports, just all the sports in general. Like you know how the coaches and how like the organization, maybe that's the word, but maybe it's a different word I'm looking for. Maybe it's the setting of organization. But how the organization you know treats their players like in general. So I feel like, you know, because they're seeing these things and they're like, okay, you know, well, this is not how I should be treated because, you know, they're trying to speak up for it and it's not enough people speaking up for it. It's just like, I'm going to bat. Now we're going to bash this person because it's like, who else is going to support, you know, what they're saying? I don't know. Like to me, like Colin Kaepernick, I, I personally, I don't think he's going to get re-signed to the NFL and that's not to bash him. I think he's a great player. I think he deserves to be signed. It's just the way the NFL and sports in general like have this conception where if you don't follow my specific rules or if you don't believe in what I believe in, then you're going to be seen different. Like uh, for example, if you look at the NBA, like a lot of a lot of players have more freedom to say what they want to say versus the NFL. Like the NFL now, like Serena said, with the whole contract where they have to stand up now instead of before where if you didn't want to stand up you don't have to but because of what Kaepernick's done now it's like okay we make so much money and the fact that if you guys don't stand up for that national anthem then not only do we lose a lot of money but we also lose a lot of fans and we get seen as like a negative connotation to sports in general so to me it's always going to be about like the bigger picture like um, people who are higher like the, the owners of the team of the NFL like I feel like they know what's wrong like they know police brutality is wrong they know kids getting killed on the street for no reason is wrong they just it's about the money like they can't lose it so when they see people kneeling for the ground you see all these white people getting mad at them and they're like oh I'm not buying a ticket to watch the NFL now because of what they're doing they look at it as yo we're losing billions of dollars so that's why they're bashing Kaepernick that's why they don't want to re-sign it because they know people are not going to like it so Cap, like, keep doing what you're doing. Like, it's gonna be hard. Like, we've seen this so many times in history. But at the end of the day, I, me personally, I don't understand why people are burning their Nike, like, stuff. It's like, what's the point? Like, one, you're not killing Nike anyway. Like, you already bought the product. Right. And two, like, there's still a billion dollar company. So you burning a pair of socks, like, what is that like five dollars? They still make it mad, right? So, and plus, like, like Serena said, Nike's been doing this for. That long, not just with Cap, but people like LeBron, Kobe, and all the other greats. Like they've been talking about um, the injustices in America. So the 
the fact that you guys are now speaking up about Kaepernick and you guys are so mad at what he's doing, what Nike is um, enabling him to do, it's like, I don't know, like, I, I feel like white people, I don't want to say white people, but everything, you know, black and the injustices, I feel like y'all just want a conversation to start up. That's why y'all doing this whole thing with Kaepernick. Like, it really means nothing, so. And it's like, I feel like, you know, you should, like, everybody should be, like, happy, like, proud that, you know, Nike is the one who's actually, like, letting them, like, in, enabling them to, like, have this speech, to have this freedom to say what they want to say and protest of something. Because to be able to protest, protest something without back, like, backing some, like, be able to have somebody back you is hard. So to have Nike do it why not like y'all should feel like proud and like okay like this is something that i support but you guys are so eager to bash something that's actually good so let's go to our shout outs our wonderful shout outs um so for the heated topic shout out to t dot what is we gonna put on the screen but shout out to you for this week. thank you and the second one is to my wonderful friend because she answered, she did answer. Oh, shout out to the person who answered the heated topic. So um, it goes to Mrs. Gonzalez underscore. She, cause she answered um, one of the questions that we said earlier about the, um, do you want to vibe or you want to fuck? And she was like, you know, if you can't connect on an emotional, spiritual level, then the sex will be, if you can connect on a emotional, spiritual level, then the sex will be more than amazing. For the heated topic goes to, I don't know what's older that. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. So update real quick. So we will have the showcase avail available for you guys soon. The full video is out. Shout out to our wonderful videographer that definitely you know made it happen for us. Our next episode will be we will have a one our first guest of the season. So make sure you look out for that. We obviously you know we're not gonna spoil who it is. All right. So you guys can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at underscore we want more. Follow on Snapchat at we want that one. Make sure you follow our wonderful shows page on social media. So it's TMTK Show on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Of course, you know, if you want to, of course, my page is always gonna be up. My Instagram is underscore fuck roses with a V not you. My Snapchat, my Twitter is fuck roses with a V not you. As always, make sure you like, you comment, you share, subscribe. Bye guys.